Hey, what's up, social media family? Hope everybody is having a really, really good day. If you're not, maybe this video will encourage you. Maybe it will help you. So, early on a Sunday morning, I'm talking early, like around 3.30 a.m. early, the Lord woke me up. And I, as I was waking up, I heard the Lord say this, tell them about my presence. Now, I was preaching that that Sunday morning and I got up and I was super excited and the first thing I thought about was a scripture where it says in the presence of God there is fullness of joy and I said all right Lord you want me to tell people about your presence so I got up out of the bed I started walking around the house I started praying and then I went into my office at our house and I started adding to my message that I already had because I knew God wanted me to talk about his presence, okay? Psalm 1611. You will show me the path of life. Let me tell you the problem with most people. The word says, I will show you the path of life. Most people, they don't go on the path that God shows them. Life is really that simple. When he shows you the path of life, I would advise that you go down that path, okay? Psalm 1611, you show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. Now, now think about this. The word says, I will show you the path of life. And in my presence, there is fullness of joy. There is no joy in the world like the joy of the Holy Ghost. There is no joy in the world like being in the very center, middle of God's presence. There is no joy in the world stronger than knowing you are in the complete, perfect will of God. The will where there's no question, like, am I doing God's will or not? Where there is no question, your life can and will have perfect peace and fullness of joy if you would just follow the path that God laid out for you. And then it says, at my right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. I don't know about you, but that's the path that I want to take, okay? Acts 319, repent, therefore be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Whenever we repent, we start walking in times of refreshing. Now, every day I get up super early in the morning. Sun's not even up yet. And I enter my day in, in my prayer chair, and I'm talking about thanksgiving, gratitude unto the Lord. And then I say, God, show me anything that I need to repent of. I don't want to have any sin in my heart. I don't want to carry anything against anybody. I don't want to have any unforgiveness. And then whenever the Lord shows you something, uh, just something that you may have thought wrong, that you got wrong, something you held against somebody, and all of a sudden you lay that down, you repent, you will have a time of refreshing, and it restores you, okay? Exodus 33, this is talking about Moses. And, and Moses, you know, the, God is saying, I want you to go. I want you to lead my people. I want you to carry these people from one place to the next. I want you to be my chosen servant. And, and he said, my presence will go with you, Moses, and I will give you rest. Well, what is that? That is that path that God has given them. The Lord was telling Moses, you lead these people. Bring them out of oppression. Bring them out of Egypt. And I want you to lead them. That is the path of life. And as you do that, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. And this is what Moses said. If your presence does not go with me, I don't want to go. Brother Moses, you better preach up in here. If the presence of God does not go with me, I do not want to go. I don't want to go anywhere the presence of God isn't. Why? Because in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. I want to be in the very middle 
in the very center of God's will. And you have to seek the kingdom first. And don't worry about the things in the natural realm. I know a gentleman that for years he wanted to be wealthy, 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 wealthy. Well, he worked so hard at it. We know what? He lost his wife and his kids. And when he obtained that wealth, he had nobody to share it with. He's a miserable man. I know a pastor who wanted a large church and the Lord was telling him to follow the power of the Holy Spirit. But he re rejected the Holy Spirit, went with uh, a seeker-friendly model, got a big church like he wanted, and everybody on staff says he's miserable. He's on all types of medications, anxiety, depression, because he know that he walked away from, from the things of God. And you know what they said? This pastor has no joy. But in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. See, we can get off track in life and we can go after the natural things that we think we want. We got to be on that perfect path. We got to be in the presence of the Lord. And moving forward in the presence of God, everything will shift. My friends, there is nothing like the presence of God. In the presence of God, you will carry the power of God and you will walk in the authority of God. And when you do, everything will start to shift in your life and everything around you will start to change for the glory of God.